What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Caldheim draft. Let's try not to be as moronic as we were previously. Uh, Turgrid seems very good. I mean, even as a 4-5 menace for 5, it's really good. But the flexibility of also having the lantern is really nice. Um, I can't see anything else in this pack that would even be close. Yeah, that's we're just going to slam the Turgrid. We can make uh we can make our Turgrid indestructible. That's pretty cool. I kind of like Sorolf's pack mate here. This card has been fantastic. Not good. Meh. No. Eh. No. Eh. Uh, none of these are none of these are great. <coughs> Hoggy mob. Uh I'm just gonna take the pack mate. It's just I think it's the white rune the white rune is fine, I think, but I'm I don't think it's better than pack mate. I think pack mate's really good. Up to one creature you don't control gets neg two, neg two, and make two elves. That seems really good as well. Poison the coup is in the pack though. So this pack is actually fantastic. If Sorof's pack mate or the Elder Hall comes back, I'm gonna be really grateful. I'm gonna take the poison the cup poison the cup, not poison the coup. <laughs> I added a U or I added a no to the to the word cup. Um, I actually don't hate Grizzled Outrider. I think this guy's a little too expensive, but like, never channel is I saying transitional one. Actually, I kind of like Glittering Frost here. What is the Red Rune? I don't even know what it does to be honest with you. What are you doing, Wallace? You pumping? Oh, I gotcha. Oh, okay. You're all right. Oh, oh, you're getting a little higher. Okay. Um, I think I'm taking the Glittering Frost. I haven't taken it yet. Well, yeah, they all draw cards, so that's not super exciting. Okay, well, I'm going to take the Kennel Ma the kennel Master here. That guy seems great. Hailstorm Valkyrie was good. I, I think it's I think it's decent. I, I don't think we, we are going to be snowy enough to really take advantage of it. Another Kennel Master? Another Snow-Covered Forest. I might just want to hedge on the forest here. What are you doing? What are you doing, Wallace? Okay. I'll take the Jarl, actually. Oh, another glittering frost. Eh, Dread Riders, meh. Death Knell Berserker is kind of mad. I don't foresee a slight. It's so rare that you give it like another. So it's funny because it's actually a non-bow with this because like, yeah, it gives you an extra, it gives you the extra power, but it also gives it indestructible. I wish this did something like gain you life or draw you a card. I don't think I want multiples. I think I'll just take wings. Nothing in that pack was super exciting. So what are you doing, Chief? Are you napping? You gonna sleep right there? This does not look comfortable, bud. While well, Yulim is helping. Right, bud? Right, my little one? Okay. Okay. Oh, Finn the Fang Bearer. I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna put you down, okay? <sighs> um, it's a one three death touch. Whenever creature you control death touch deals combat damage, that player gets two poison counters. I mean, it might just be worth it. What is this? When it's die, search all for a creature of power or toughness six or greater. This guy's probably it, right? This guy's great. Five four for five that draws you a carbon dies. Yeah, I'll take that over the stupid two two drop. I mean, we do have to get a six power creature, but I don't think there's that many, so I'm probably. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Found one. This is also ninth pick, so I think this next pack would have the uh, the card we're looking for.
<laughs> yeah, that's definitely not Hunter. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if Tyrat Sanctum is just worth taking. He's doing big digs on his little bed down there. Yeah, I mean, this is there's nothing better in this pack, so I might as well take it. We also do have a god that we can make indestructible, which is not terrible. I remember back in my day, gods were indestructible. I feel like these packs are taking a while. Ooh, came back. Yeah, we're definitely taking this. This card's really good. I mean, I don't know. It seems really good. I don't know if it is really good. But five mana, like, and sacking the land to kill a creature and put two one ones into play, like... Eh, I'll take a snow-covered forest. I, I like the incremental, like, just picking up late snow lands. Yeah, all right. Oh. You know what? I don't even hate a Dread Rider. It's just another card we can get with Rootless U. Draugr Necromancer. 4-4 four, for four, 4. I'm already on board. If a non-token creature in opponent controls die, exile it with an ice counter. You may cast spells from one cards and exile your opponent's home with ice counters. Anyway, spend mana from snow sources. As there was, okay, we're definitely just taking that, right? That's got to be better than Poison the Cup, right? Like, we just killed our creatures and get to play them. Oh, what up, MTG Pack Rat? Tell me this is better than Poison the Cup. It's definitely a White Walker. Draugrs are pretty much White Walkers. There are also Draugrs and Elder Scrolls. I'm taking it. Can't stop me. Uh, we're definitely not activating the World Tree. Eh, Way Down actually seems fine. This is probably a deck that's going to have a bunch of things going to the graveyard. If this was the rare that made an angel, I'd, 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 I mean, depending on if it's, I think it's double white though. If it was double black, I'd probably consider splashing it, especially with a glittering frost. I'm pretty sure we're just taking way down here. Kurt, how'd your shipping go? Uh, how's my record? Well, we're playing right now. We're drafting right now. So I am currently 0-0 zero, zero in this draft. Um, What is this guy? A zombie? What is Turgrid? A god? Okay, well. This guy's a zombie. Wolf. Zombies. We have a good amount of zombies. Maybe we just take the... Take Raze. I also like Grizzled Outrider a lot. But we do have three five drops already. This is also technically a four drop. Really? You take the rune? I don't understand why you guys are taking the runes. Like, just giving a creature death touch, like, just doesn't do anything for me. I mean, but if, I, okay, so if I'm, if I'm playing this on something than drawing a random card, like, I'd rather just draw this first. Like, it's just a 5-5. Five, five. Okay, I kind of like return here. I don't think we're in for Dread Rider right now. I could see it being fine on other equipment, sure, but like, I don't know. Like, if I'm playing this and putting it on a guy, like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I like Return here. I could see taking another Glittering Frost, especially with Draugr. Um. I don't hate snakeskin veil actually 
the hex proof is really nice it's just a better range. this is a better ranger's guy all right like putting a counter on something and then it also gains hex proof like in a vacuum that seems better i also do like elderleaf mentor a lot oh i do like wither crown actually that seems good i'll take a wither crown we also clearly don't have a ton of two drops. Oh, another return. Masked Vandal seems fine. I do like being able to destroy things. Yeah, all right. Sure. Eh. Unexciting, but probably better than a second one of either of these. Two drop, two drop. Priest of Haunted Edge. Not as great when we have literal one snow land right now. I'm just going to take the spider. Oh, actually, we'll take rays. Sure. Not as exciting. I mean, this is an elf. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, the Priestess Snow lands. Eh, cool. I feel like our deck is okay, but I feel like it's also missing some stuff. No lands? I don't know, man. I think you need at least a couple. Wow. Wow. Two invokes, man. Thank you. We're gonna be evoking all day. Oh, Gimpy, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, a second world tree. Oh, a, a third poison the cup that we've had that we've seen, and a boreal outrider. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> boreal outrider is so good. Oh dear. Hello, my dear. Hi. 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 Yeah, it's Outrider. I'm good. How about you? Where? You're home now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Love you. Uh, when this enters the battlefield, search library for a snow land, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. Because also, for each other snow permanent you control... Is that any good? Is there a way to find my snows? No. <coughs> Spirit seems fine, but it's like, is it going to be more than like a 2-4 in this deck? I mean, like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 land so far. We could also just take Arctic Tree Line. You know what? I think we're just taking the tree line here, guys. Ooh, I do like another... I do like another pack mate. Also a swamp. Uh, I don't think it ever ramps you, right? It literally just gets you a land and puts it in your hand. That is not the same as ramping. Uh, 
Um, it's got to be Pac-Man. I'm just too high on Pac-Man. It says draw a card on it, guys. Oh, another rootless you. Oh, glittering frost. I actually like the glitter, glitter, the second glittering frost here because it's basically similar to this. Only it ramps us to five and lets us feel better about our like fourteen five drops. Ooh, well that doesn't do anything for us. I actually kind of like Elderfang Disciple here. We don't have many two drops, and this is a good one. I don't think I want a third glitter frost, but. I might not hate another... Oh, we're just taking second Withering Crown. Okay, another Glittering Frost. How many five drops do we have? Like, five? That's pretty good. Two Glittering Frosts actually <laughs> seems like I'm in handy here. Could just take a Plains. That doesn't do anything for us, though. Ooh, Snowfield Sinkhole. Like, this actually gives us a reasonable way to play white now. Plus, it, it just adds black for us, so that's kind of good. Wow, another another Glittering Frost, number three, huh? I don't hate Village Rights. So this is 29 cards, and we have one, two, three, four lands. So we need like two cuts. this guy. I don't think it matters. We're not going to really play either of them. Busy night. Hope to bug you some more once I learn your live story. I don't know if I even have a schedule, but MTG Packer, have a good night, buddy. Wow, another raise the Draugr. 14 raise the Draugrs. Another village, village rights, huh? Last pick, be something playable. I guess we don't necessarily need it. This guy being a zombie is, is pretty sweet. Because, like, it just lets us get two good creatures back. Did we have a second fat bear? No, but I kind of wish we did. Oh, yes, we do. Ah, that's pretty good. Well, we only have four... We have three snow lands. But we have two glittering frosts. We have basically... I'm going to take this guy out. That's an easy pick. Um, Probably board in Mask Vandal, but I feel like there's enough... Enough cards to hit in the format. The frost bug? I don't even know what that is. So, I don't know. Baby. 13. So, this is... So, this is basically six sources of snow mana. Yeah, Dreadrider's fine, but we're actually looking for cuts, not additions. So, I also don't feel like our I feel like our top end is way better than than Dreadrider right now. It's an insect that lives in cold climates. Well, dang it. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. 
I guess Grim Draugr, actually. I don't care about this guy. How many creatures do we have right now? 15? All right, we can cut the Draugr. I, I, I keep wanting... I always want to cut Raven Wings. It might be way down. Eh, way down's good, though. What, what kind of bugging happens? And is it still happening right now? As we speak? I mean, the only reason I would actually play the 3-7 is because... Um, is this just better? Like, we already have... Put a 1-1 counter on it. Like, we have this, so we can put a counter on that. And we have... This guy's not legendary, unfortunately. Do we only have one legendary creature? I think we do. It still might be worth playing. Also, just making Turgrid indestructible might be just worth playing a, a colorless land for. Oh, I don't love cutting second, second Grizzled Outcast just because we do have double Glittering Frost, so I want to maximize the number of cards. We're... Plus, we also have draw Raise the Draugr, which these guys being elves is really helpful. So... I don't know, not really a big fan of that. I would rather cut Carfell Kennelaster. Which I might do. Although these are zombies. Hmm. I could see cutting Raven Wings. I Yeah, that seems fine. So this is seven, eight, and this is six, seven, eight, nine. I think we definitely want more green, or more more black, rather. Eight, nine. So this is eight, nine, and then five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean, like, we have tons of black. We have significantly more black than green. I think this is probably good. All right. Let's play around. Oh, Glittering Frost got fixed yesterday. Nice to hear. That's really... Yeah, because there was an update, actually. I did have to update the client today when I started. So that's nice. Uh, I will play first, obviously, because I'm a this card. This hand seems really good. Turn two, packmate. Turn three, land. Turn four, Draugr. Okay. Turn two for tell, turn three cast. Okay. Or we can actually just play a glittering boy. I don't think that's better, though. Because we can actually play this on turn three. Or on turn four, rather. Actually, we're probably just going to play this guy. Love the Bob Ross lands. Double Glittering Frost. Rah! And 
we're definitely going to four four here. So take these mountains. I will say giant. Uh, I want to put this on on here. And then I want to play. And then we're going to hit for seven. Uh, apparently when you, I don't know, apparently they were saying it bugged out when you, when you glittering frosted. So what is this? This just makes two one ones, two two ones rather. Actually, this isn't bad for telling it. Tapping the man on the blind manually lock the game. It's a solid out outcome. So we have one, two, we have five mana. We can go down to three mana. Put this on, we can go one, two, three, put this on here, one, two, three. Hmm. Four, five, six. we can, I mean, like, I think we just kill this and attack for eight here. Oh, what up, Franconic Disciple? Uh, I've had a pretty good time drafting this set so far. So they just go block block. That's pretty good. That's probably the best you could ask for, I think. Wait, what? Why would you do that? What? They literally had great blocks. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. My confusion is over 9,000. What? I think OP forgot. I mean, like, even if they didn't, even if it didn't say that, right? Even if it didn't have that text, you still have one blocker for my 3 3 and my 4 4, and you're at 3. So you still take 3. Like, no matter what you do.
It was just a very weird. Even with their blocks, they were dead. Not really. Like they have a three, three, and a four, four. I have a three, three, and a four, four. They just double. They just block and block. I mean, it's not great for them, but they're not dead. They didn't want to trade their 3 3, so they're like, oh, guess I'll die. Uh, hold on one second. Um, you know what? This hand is not great, but I think we'll be okay with it. How much of you like Wither Crown? I mean, I think it's fine. I don't really have many complaints about it. It lets you survive to the late game. Sometimes they take damage. There's some creatures that you want off the board, but I mean, the same thing can be, say, uh, of Bound and Gold, right? So... I mean, like... I, I feel like it's rare that, that the, like they have counters that you just can't work around. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't say it's... I mean, like, it's not... I, it, it's really not that far off. Like, it gets rid of the creature. Plus, because this is an enchantment... This is one of the few enchantments, like pacifisms, uh, that go to the graveyard consistently. So, like, if you have cards like the 4-4 the four, four white creature, I mean, then you can get it back. So... Like this is a, this is a situation where I'm like, do I just put it on this guy? I don't think so. But maybe. I mean, probably not. I think a two two is not really my biggest concern here. I have not opened a Warren Clex yet. That would be, uh, that'd be nice. He's a sweetie boy. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Okay, so they've missed a good number of land drops. You're going to Disdainful Stroke this guy? Wow. I mean, I guess we get to return him next turn and make two 1-1s one -ones as well. So that's kind of neat. Oh, God. There's a lot of aggression happening right now. Wow, disdainful stroke. What a time to be alive. I 
I mean, if they do kill this again, we can double block here, take three, mass the Vandal, kill the Gold Vein pick. Now I have broken wings stuck in my head. I blame Pernicious, dude. Who has since left. Unfortunate. Oh boy, that guy's a banger. Alright, none of these creatures are super aggressive here, so... Oh boy. I kind of just want to get this off the board, because I'm not really... I mean, I guess they're just going to slam it into my guy anyway. But they didn't really have the mana to do it. I guess we could have killed it with this next turn. Yeah, that was dumb. Oh, I got hasty. This guy, this guy really threw me for a loop there. Because like, even if they play a land, they still don't have five. Because this guy can only activate uh, Fortel instants or sorceries. So that's kind of a waste. I kind of wasted this, unfortunately. But we're also up a game, and I don't really feel like we're that threatened here. So that's good. This is a dragon. So this costs four. Still don't have four, though. They might attack with just this guy to get the... No, they're not going to get it, though. Okay, so I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I like that. I hate that I put this stupid Withering Boon on here. Withering Boon. Um, Wither Crown. So what does this cost? One, one, two, three, four, five. So we can actually still play Masked Vandal if we do that. My concern is they play a land and they get to make a dragon. Like, making a dragon is real strong against us. So I feel like I'm just going to waste my turn. And uh, kill this guy. That's not my ideal play. And I feel like it was terrible on my part. But... Because any land lets them cast a dragon because of the Mistwalker, so... I'm not going to play Mass Band. I don't have a creature to exile, so we can't get rid of the pickaxe just yet. Uh, I don't think we're attacking here. We attack with this guy. They just take it. And then their attacks with all of these guys are pretty good. I do think they're going to move that and attack for, like, four here. Yep. Oh, but they used a red. They used a blue for it, which is nice. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. We can only get them a pump one, so they attack for three. None of these guys have reach, huh? Oh, see, that's a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see, now we'll attack.
take it. Lots of triggers. Triggers for me. Lots of triggers. So we can just alpha next turn. Six, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 18 damage on board. That's pretty good. I think I pump this guy twice, attack for four. I mean, that's their turn. Oof. Okay, so we'll play Vandal. And another 5-5. Five, five. So even if they block here, they take 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So they have to, like, play another blocker. Or they can just... 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't think we're... I don't know how they're going to deal a 6 here. But they said good game. I can't tell if it's a preemptive good game because they lost or a preemptive good game because they won. So they can deal three, they can deal four, but now they're tapped out. Okay. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Peaches come from a can. Oh, unbreakable bond. More like unbreakable shit, am I right? <laughs> Pretty much, I'm like open to keeping most hands with Surf's pack made in it. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. And if I had my little way, I'd eat peaches every day. Oh, they just played that as a man. Play him as a man. 
Oh man, three three bird. Oh, that's a that was a good draw. They see me birding, they hating, patrolling. I don't remember under. This bird has been been doing me dirty. Doing me birdie. God, you think they're gonna play two lands next turn? Two spells? Good, this is so many lands. No, sir, I don't like it. Oh, dear Jesus. Jesus, two of them? Sure. That's really good. That's really good. Even if we play this, we, we go to seven and they have seven in the air. I'm tempted to splash the Invoke here. We have double Glittering Frost and two White Lands. Hmm. It might be better than the Raise. Seems fine, I guess. Eh, flying equipment seems a little slow. We also have to, like, it just makes us have a defender. <laughs> I mean, I don't care about their 1-2 bird if we if we can get rid of the, the, the plus 2, plus 1. The card that gives all of their creatures plus 2, plus 1 at any time is, is way more threatening than a 1-2 bird. We only saw two flyers, so I'm not really super concerned with that. You know what? We'll give it a shot. I think playing this with the potential to hit a green next turn and get a 3-3 on the board is high, is just better than playing 1-1, one, because one, we can just play this next turn anyway, so we're missing one damage. But the upside doesn't exist because we did not hit a land. But we do have village rights for this guy next turn, so we can village rights this guy. Try to hit a green, play the green.
wow, they discarded that. Fascinating. Sure. Okay. Okay, we're still missing lands, but we've dug pretty deep. But we're not needing to splash. Like, we already have, like, four main deck sources. Like, it's, we're not adding any lands. We're not, like, trying to... We're not messing with our mana base here. Um, Kind of just want to kill this. I don't know. I think it's probably better to play this guy, right? Because next turn we can kill it, and also if we hit another land, we can... You know, kill it again. They have two cards in hand, so if they use one to, like... Sure. That's totally fine. This guy's probably better to have foretolded. Oh, I'm on. Sun on the beaches in my fist. Moon rotten being in my fist. Oh, you got it. Oh, boy. Look at all the things they have. Okay, kind of like that on this guy. We got a two four. Let's get rid of Masked Vandal, because we can actually get it back. Fascinating. So we put this on a swamp. Then we have four mana. So we can play Coma's Faithful after that. And then return actually gets better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do the new solution. I that was actually nice. It's like auto tap has changed. <laughs> that was actually pretty sweet. Okay, 
so they're not going to cast it this turn. That's nice. Uh, no blocks. I'll take I'll take dose. Ooh, what are we weighing down here? Let's <laughs> This is actually pretty good. Yep, that is Are they double blocking? Oh wow, they are. Huh. Cancel. Okay. I mean, I think we just foretell this guy here. And then we can end the turn. And they go to four? Turn a permanent with a converted cost two or less from your graveyard. Sure. get Valkyrie sword back. Okay. Um, I think we just play this guy, right? And then they have to... Yeah, we're just gonna play this. Is that lifelink? No. What are we getting back? Actually, they have one draw. That's fine. Actually, fine like this. Well, we're going to ship this hand. Mulligan. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Any green source, and this is just bananas.
Nice. <laughs> this is good. Turn three, this guy. Turn four, Draugr. Taking through from the smugglers, shitty smugglers' copter. And we have tap lands. Might as well pull this out first. We did not draw a tap land, so that's okay. This guy's on four. We can play both of these on five. I mean, I'll 100% trade for Funeral Longboat if they want to. Like we're okay shaped. I'm back in the saddle again. Oh, they crewing. Uh, so if we block here, yeah, no blocks. Not gonna, not gonna trade for your funeral longboat, buddy. Interesting. Such good mana usage. So now we can play this for two next turn. We'll have four up and we draw two cards. So. They did nothing. Well, one of our lands was a, one of our cards was a land. The other one was a land. So it doesn't matter if you mull to five if your opponent literally draws mono lands. So, so they've drawn four. We've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's worse. This is a weird play, but what are you gonna do? Crew in response. They did not. Ten lands to four lands. So we have six extra cards and they are all fucking lands. That's pretty brutal. Hey, 
Hey, look, we hit three spells. <laughs> That's nice. End the turn. I bet this guy dies, and then we get to play it next turn. No, they just took it. Okay. Give me something good. Come on. This is ridiculous. That's probably as good as we're going to get, huh? Still a little hard to tangle with this guy, to be honest with you. But they are at five, so this raptor has to die. And then when it dies, we get it. So... And fucking tastic. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. So if we attack with everything, three, three blocks, three, three, four, four blocks, four, four. They could go 4-4 four, four on here. 3-3 three, three here. They take 5. They have to block the 5-5. Five, five. So they probably just block here. It's probably ill-advised not to block this guy, so they probably trade. I think they're just in bad shape. I mean, maybe we just leave this guy back. They go 3-3 three, three blocks, 3-3. Three, three. Four, 4 blocks, 3-3. Three, three. And then this guy blocks here. No, we just have to alpha here. Yep, that's... That was an assumption that we had. Yep. And they go to... Yep, they go to 3. Or they go to 2, rather. And they don't have a flyer. I mean, this is a good position for us. I think. Yeah, I don't care about that. I mean, they double block here. That seems bad. This is an insane amount of lands. Four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands. That's freaking ridiculous. Wow. Seems good. Thirteen lands. Fucking incredible. This is absolutely amazing. And of course we milled three spells. Yeah. Cool beans. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's
that's a dude. It is no longer a dude. Master Elf. I might just want Draugr Necromancer here so that if we attack. It just draws this extra card, which has to be better than, like... <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, it was not better than anything. I mean, I guess we could have gotten Elf Cleric to, to just have more on board. Yeah, that gets them out of... Oh god, they're gonna get, they're gonna double strike it. <sighs> Amazing. Yeah, they'd only gain three. Like, I mean, that's fine. There you go. There you go. Just make sure you fucking completely come back because I've drawn 14 lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yep, there are three lands and our remaining thirteen cards. No, they drew more lands. They're in the graveyard. It's a swamp and a great hall of Starnheim or whatever. Fucking amazing. Yep. This is actually incredible. Like, I'm actually losing. I, I don't even understand what's happening right now. Plus, it's funny because, uh,. The single card we can get with this is right here, so.
Does that actually do anything? As a sorcery, not really. Three seven, three six. Next turn they deal us <sighs> practically a million. Just not ideal. Kill this rat, I guess. There's like no way to win this game. Like 14 fucking lands is just unbelievable. Utterly unbelievable. And like, this is what I hate. This is the one thing I hate about magic. And I'm like, I've been having a good time in this format, but like. Okay. That's <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> Oh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 lands. Two lands left in the deck. Cool. Yep, be sure to hit me for three. This game should not have been close. We had them at fucking one, but of course they, they end up hitting this. And then we draw 16 lands so they can stabilize over the course of 25 turns, so. Cool. Hey, your 14th 2-drop that has lifelink. Seems good. Go. <laughs> it's actually... Is that good enough? No, because then they just sack, right? Sack a non-land permanent. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Might as well give it a shot. Man, can you imagine this 14 turns ago? <laughs> and we are one land shy, so like... Eh, what are you gonna do? So they just activate, activate, and kill us. Cool. Maybe next game I'll get to play Magic the Gathering. That's my favorite part of Magic the Gathering, is playing Magic the Gathering. Unfortunately, due to a faulty resource system, sometimes you sit down and try to play Magic the Gathering and your opponent gets to do all the things. So, what can you do? I mean, I don't know, maybe there was one point I could have done something differently, but... I mean, we hit, like, very little removal. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. This hand seems great. Turn two, turn three, turn four. I don't know. There's a room in my heart. Holding hands while the walls come tumbling down. When I do, I'll be right behind you. Well, we have to hit a fourth land in order to play this guy next turn. Oh, boy. Okie dokie. I guess we just play this guy.
block. Because I have a way down. And if I draw a land, I can actually way down this guy and then cast it, and that seems really sweet. I don't think they can kill my Necromancer. I don't think there's a way to deal four here. New set. People want to learn the cards. Can't see the card text on Arena. So Arena's not great for people who want to learn the cards. But to be fair, I'm not sure Magic Online is either, just because Magic Online is small enough that it's like, oh, that's huge. That's pretty good. Gotty. Get him. When they do, I'll be right behind you. All right, so I have to assume you have like Yarl here. Or something, or... Oh, we should have played, no, this wouldn't have done it, right? We go one, two, three, put it on here, and then we have one, two, three, four. Oh, y'all indestructible. White Walker is raising the dead. They're like, oh, do I just do I just play this guy? <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure it's like a Jarl. Maybe not though. I don't know. Because I think they attacked when they had three lands in play. Eh, that's fine. I don't have any. I don't have anything that really affects. Y'all unbelievable. Oh! All their creatures are not great. I think we're just attacking with these two. Like, they can double block here, and then we just get to play one of their guys. They can double block here, I get to play both of them. Okay. Oh boy. Things are happening here. Uh, I think this guy's probably a little bit better. Say that you'll never, 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 never need it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go... Uh, auto pay with lands that are not that. So if they sack this, we get it. I didn't put it on this because our land kills this next turn anyway. Whereas our land does not kill the 1 3, so. Oh good, here come the lands. Why not just hold on to it? Because they're at six and I want to press I want to push as much damage as I can. And we did. And we did. And it happened.
Mike Green's got 14. I've really got to land it to you. You sure are drawing a lot of it. I appreciate it. Hey, bud. Thanks a lot. I want to take Mass Vandal out. It doesn't seem like they have a ton of... things to hit. I might just bring in Grim Draugr. We have literally not drawn Boreal Outrider once. So that's kind of unfortunate, considering it's one of the better cards in our deck. We've also only drawn Tegrid one time. Turgrid. And it was literally the last turn before we died. So... I'd say things are going pretty good. Vandal good trick? I don't even know what that means. I don't hate it. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, this is a turn two, turn three, turn four, which is really all you're asking for here. And that guy getting back a Grizzled Outrider is really all, I, all I'm asking for as well, so. Huh. <laughs> Bro boat, I draw like I drew like uh fifteen lands, so it might have been it might have been sicker for you than for me. I mean good games nonetheless, not your fault. It was just I mean it was just miserable when like I'm like trying to draw uh out of lands and I just keep drawing more lands, so Okay. Down there. No attacks. Yeah, I like this because if we draw like negative three, negative three or something, I want to have a thing to to actually use it with. Okay. Oh, what up, Odysseus? Good seeing you, buddy. And they are foretelling a lot of things. Okay. This guy's dead? Sure, of course it is. Um, block. We're just going to sack and then return it. That seems fine. They do have four cards. We have three and only one of them does anything, so that's unfortunate. We are up a game, though. Oh, the new set's been fine. I've been enjoying it. Dragon Vampire is pretty sweet. That guy won me some games yesterday. Jesus, it never fucking ends, dude. So one, two, three, then we have one, two. Yeah, we have plenty of mana. Are we attacking here? No. So we'll just foretell that idiot. No attack. So in the future we can pay for play for two, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plus two glittering frost is kind of like nine. 
Especially because these don't really do much outside of... I mean, if we had our Boreal gentlemen, but that'd be great. Roggers for days. If they block the 2-1 with anything, oh, that's actually perfect. <laughs> Gotti. Man. That was not terrible. These lines are very hard to tell what they are. I'm like, is this plains? Oh, it's a swamp. Is it what forest? Looks like a bunch of looks like a bunch of ice. This is plains? I I don't know. Like I wish they had like borders that like like this is a green border, so I know it's a forest. This has no like on the original land, you can see it because you obviously see the big white box. Big green box. Big black box. But, like, you can't see those on here. So I'm like, okay, hold on. You got a green, white, a black, a green, a white. Like, it's really hard to, to tell from a distance and be like, what are these lands? I don't know. Maybe we can pop this guy to infinity, so. I don't know how we get through this board, though. Like, we can just attack with this guy, but then they pump this guy twice. And, we'll, you know, trade, so it doesn't seem great. Like, we've drawn six cards that aren't glittering frosts. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six to nine. Not great. Yeah, they're doing nothing. I kind of like that. I'm also real in for for poisoning the cup here. Uh, so we got one, one, two, one, two. Yeah, we can pump again. Pass to attackers. Hmm. I'm not sure I understand. But okay. I'll, uh... They're gonna plus two plus one. Pass to damage. Sure. Do they have their own Yarl? Choose a creature type. Okay. I mean we get to keep our five five? They're gonna name Scarecrow? Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. I don't think that was that great, actually. I, 
think this might be the end of the game. Are we two one in? Draft chaff proven itself? What does that mean? I don't think these five fives are draft chaff at all. I mean, unless you mean like they're good in draft, but not anywhere else. I mean, five fives for five in, in a format, in limited formats, are usually pretty good. hold up here okay <laughs> what does that mean I feel like just killing this is correct especially because we get the scry um, yeah, we're going to keep both of these. We draw the wolf. Wolf draws us this. And this is an instant. If both these guys somehow die, we just get to get both of them back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Manatraders.com is a great way to save 15% on a subscription. You can use my link and promo code down below. I get a kickback from that and it's a great way to, to borrow all the Kaldheim cards you want on Magic Online for Standard or Modern. Yeah, Glitter Frost is working fine. We have like infinite packs, right? 76. Alright, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>